Athia is a sprawling, magical world filled with adventure and discovery. On her quest to save this mystical land from the Tantas, Frey will uncover a variety of interesting detours, formidable challenges, and even a few delightful encounters. Some detours are provided by Athia's locals, who are in desperate need of Frey's help, while other points of interest can be found via marked locations dotting the vast landscape. Scattered across Athia are monuments, sacred stones where the Tantas once stored a fraction of their power. Freeing these landmarks from the corrupting force of the break will allow Frey to grow stronger. Certain monuments will present challenges called flashbacks that can earn Frey mana or other rewards upon completion. These can be attempted directly from the world map and can be repeated as many times as she needs to fully master them. Another type of sacred spot to be uncovered are founts of blessing, where Frey can awaken her dormant magical abilities and learn new skills. Frey can also upgrade her magic through spellcraft challenges, which are found in ancient books across Athia. Old coins are a valuable commodity in Athia. Frey can collect them on her journey and then exchange them at trading spots for valuable items. Beneath the surface of Athia are a myriad of locked labyrinths. Exploring these mysterious underground locations can be extremely dangerous, but also rewarding, as they hold powerful equipment in their depths. Saving Athia is a serious undertaking, and Frey will need a break from time to time. She can play a game with Partha, dice-like objects made from animal bones. Rolling them is said to bring good luck and can earn Frey a temporary battle boost. She can also take pictures at photo spots and show them to the children back in Sepal. The more pictures she takes, the more features she can unlock in photo mode. Frey will also encounter some furry friends known as the Tantas Familiars. These feline creatures usually roam around special monuments dedicated to them, but can pose quite a challenge to befriend. Conversely, Frey will come across some severely mutated beasts. These large, ferocious creatures are as awe-inspiring as they are terrifying and offer Frey the greatest opportunity to put her skills to the test. With so much more to uncover and experience in Athia, Frey will quickly learn that this magical land and its inhabitants are indeed worth fighting for. This is Athia, home to treacherous landscapes, corrupted beasts, and menacing threats. To survive in this wicked environment, Frey must learn how to master an arsenal of magical abilities. There are multiple types of spells Frey can learn to deploy, and each type of magic will have its own array of attack, support, and parkour skills. Frey will have access to the base spells of each magic type, with powerful upgrades available to earn by collecting mana. At the onset of her journey, Frey discovers the Earth-based purple magic. The quick attack spell for this magic is known as Shock. And by charging up Shock, Frey can unleash more powerful attacks. Burst Shot fires clusters of explosive rock. Shield Shot creates a defensive barrier while charging and explodes into smaller particles when released. Scattershot unloads a steady stream of rocks, then quickly triggers a high-impact, long-range projectile. Frey's purple magic also provides her with support spells that come in handy in a variety of ways. For example, Prime sets up explosive traps. Screen generates a force field and Tendril heals, based on how much damage it does. For more defensive-minded players, Frey has a host of abilities that provide her with survivability in battle. 
Learning how to dodge attacks with magic parkour is the key to defeating the corrupted threats of Athia. But when she does get struck, Frey's trusty sidekick Cuff will take the hit to reduce the damage dealt and create an opportunity for a counterattack. Cuff can also be extremely useful before any enemy encounter occurs. With Cuff's assistance, Frey can scan the area for nearby points of interest and potential threats. Additionally, Cuff can examine enemies to provide valuable intel on their strengths and weaknesses. Later into Frey's journey, she will unlock fire-based red magic, and these spells open up new ways to play. Spells like Fusilog, Aegis, and Legion are strong defensive options. But sometimes, a strong offense is the best defense. Red magic gives Frey the ability to unleash some devastating melee attacks. The quick attack spell for red magic bestows Frey with a magical blade called Slice. A charged up Slice unleashes the magic attack's arc, Blast, and Rage Slice. Additionally, the red magic support spells provide various offensive capabilities, such as Charge and Bombardier. In addition to purple and red magic, Frey will gain access to blue and green magic as she progresses on her journey. These magic types also offer a multitude of attack and support spells for Frey to master. Using attack and support spells gradually charges Frey's surge magic, eventually enabling her to cast an extra powerful spell. Used at the right moment, it can wipe out an entire opposing force in one fell swoop. Frey can also choose to end an opponent by dealing a killer blow a devastating move she can perform when an enemy is stunned on the ground. Experimenting with different magic types and abilities allows Frey to tailor her combat style to suit any perilous situation. With a wide range of magical abilities at her disposal, Frey will have a multitude of ways to deal with any situation she may encounter. Only after mastering these new abilities will she be able to defend Athia against the corrupting force of the break and perhaps find a way back home.